can call it fate, call it a prophecy. I call it bad karma. Wait a minute, you want us to believe this is a curse? Can you identify these people? Yeah, I know it's cliche. So what? You guys are gonna save the world! Gives you the impression that we'd even want to. So you guys go wham bam thank you ma'am it up and uh, smash stuff and then we all go home. You got the wrong man. I just do Reiki and palm reading. Wait a minute. What did you say they're called? And with that, welcome to round one. This is our playthrough of The Bad Karmas. You just kind of got to taste a little bit of what's going on in this game. We're playing as these four super powered individuals. Uh, you, you might call them like radicals. Are we the bad karmas? We are the bad karmas. All right. right. We're the bad karmas and we're facing down these 12 zodiacs. And these are like beast monsters that you just saw that are threatening to destroy the world. We are playing against Ares right now. But what is uh, worth noting is that this is not just your average game. Ooh. No. This is actually the pilot game, or I should say the launch game for this brand new piece of hardware that we're using called Teberu. You may have heard us talk about this. We got to see it with Gen Con. A couple, a two or three years, well, man, no, three or four years three ago four, now. Yeah. Before pandemic happened. Yeah, pre-pandemic. We, we got to come in and see this technology behind closed doors. Now we can kind of show it off in public it's a neat system it's all designed with this almost console board here and you lay your game board on top of it and it knows where you're putting everything yeah cool. and it knows you know when you roll a die yeah what it is knows it. when you roll a die and it all shows up on we have an app over here on the ipad uh we could also each have we're going to do it for simplicity's sake we're going to be using one phone and passing it what around. you can do you can yes. pass and play but everyone can have their own device it works for this game because this game is cooperative yeah other Tebru games that are not cooperative, maybe you're gonna have some hidden information on your phone that you don't want people to see, but in this case, it's all cooperative open information, so we're gonna pass this around. We have chosen to fight against Ares here. We've already set up the board, just like the app told us to fight. This is a dark cave where we're coming in to defeat him, and you'll see these giant crystalline structures here. Uh, but we have to choose our characters. Now, for the bad karmas, there's always gonna be four characters in play. Cool. Because they each have different strengths and weaknesses and they're going to want to combo with each other and play to their own strengths out on the field. Yeah. Nice. So we're each gonna control one and then we're gonna have one that we're gonna control kind of cooperatively. I think okay. that's a fun okay. way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I can cooperate. Uh, <laughs> most of the time, most of the time. Uh, are you gonna introduce us to I, the characters I, yeah, so that we it. can So th we've got Fernando the Demolisher. He's a demolisher. He's he got this giant like axe. The brute, the tank. He's like the brute. No, he's not like the, the brute, like the berserker. He oh, does okay. a lot of damage. Okay. okay. Uh, we have Alex. Alex is more the tank. He's oh. the defender with this big shield. Oh. He can hide behind it to take a lot of damage, and he can heal other teammates. Hmm. Plus, he can taunt and try to direct attacks to him. A big part of the game is positioning with Ares, and we'll talk about this LED base here as it happens. But this LED base is going to show us where his weak spots are. So positioning him is pretty important. Oh, cool. uh, then we have Kitty Snipes, who is Kitty Snipes. A Kitty. sniper. Look at her base matches your hair. I Woo! feel I feel like I'm not going to be able to play Kitty Snipes because it sounds like <laughs> Emily wants Kitty Snipes. Uh, she is a ranged sharpshooter, so she wants to be far away from Ares, uh, hitting him with special attacks. And then we have Claire, the assassin right here. She wants to bounce in and out and do as much damage as she can before bouncing kind away. Kind of roguish okay. a little okay. bit, right? Kind, kind of roguish a little bit. They call her the assassin, I think. Uh, for good reason. So, we need to figure out who wants to play. Who. Well, Emily, uh, if we didn't know already, I'm going to Kitty Snipes. You're gonna All snipe. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna tell the system that we're using Kitty Snipes by placing it right here, and a chip awesome. in the device tells us 
basically where you are. Oh. Okay. And it Which also shows you where you're going to go. So you're going to start oh, cool. in that spot right there. Which you can see on screen. So you'll be able to see this on screen right now. So, and when you place oh, it, just it just appears on the app. Because the okay. app knows exactly cool. where she's sitting. Okay, that's cool. It's, co it's, very, it's cool. very cool. All right, so then we got to do another one. So that's awesome. Who do you, you want to be? Um, I'm thinking, well, let's talk about this. Okay. Who do we want to sort of collectively? You've had more experience with this That's than true. we have. Who do you think is best to collectively? Because I'm kind of leaning towards I, what, was, what was her name because, again, Claire? Uh, Claire, because this is a cooperative game. So you're not going to be sitting there trying to make your own decisions. We can talk about what we want to sure. do. We can kind of plan out our turns. We can even, and spoiler alert, we can even choose our own initiative. So you get to decide who really? goes where. So well, I'm going to be, I'm going to go with you're Claire. You're going to go with Claire. All right, go ahead and scan her in. Claire with a C or a K? Uh, with a C. Claire with a C. And it's going to oh, tell well, you where I she might, goes. I might want to reconsider that. I thought it was a K. She goes <laughs> right down there next to Kitty Snipes. You'll see. Boop. Boom. Best friend. Okay. okay. Up on the app. That is pretty sweet. I will, it's amazing how quick it is. I mean, I know we live in this technical age now where that's, but that's pretty quick. Yeah. Like I figured there'd be a little processing. Yeah, I mean, some of the, some of the stuff you'll see, like it loads up like the AI and everything and tells you where to move the AI. I mean, it, it does some pretty cool stuff. I think I want to do Alex myself, the defender. Oh, that sounds like a good healer. idea. Uh, and then the barbarian guy, uh, we'll just run in. The barbarian guy, what was the barbarian guy's name? Uh, Fernando. Fernando. We don't want to just I'm call right, him barbarian guy. Alex is right here, boop, right there on the screen. Look at that. Uh, yeah, Fernando's the last guy. So, yep, scan him in. Oh, he's going to make up that corner. We're sitting as a team. We are sitting as a team. Control so one, ready to go, continue. Ready to go, it's going to hit continue, and it's going to take us right into the start. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so it's going to load up the Ooh. map, basically. You get a little bit of text there, and it shows you in the corner of the app whose turn it is. Nice. And that's reflected on the phone. The as phone. Well. Cool. All right, so... Kitty Snipes has to determine two things. So this is you, Emily. So okay. you're determining, first of all, your initiative order. You decide right. where you want to act within the, the timeline of all four of us okay. acting. Okay. In between each one of our actions, Aries is going to go, including before our in first no. action. Oh, in between each of them. Each, in between each action, Aries is going to activate. He's going to come in and move. Some things to know about Aries is that he can attack one person or he can attack everybody around his circle. Huh. Okay. So we don't all want to necessarily be up on his circle. He can also push and shove people. So if he knocks you into somebody else or into a wall or into a crystal, he'll take extra damage. Oh. So part of the positioning is trying to avoid so him maybe, doing that. Maybe here, not the greatest that's idea not a, right That's now. not the great, the best spot right there. So he's going to get to act beforehand. So we kind of know that these two are probably going to get attacked no matter what. But we can either put them towards the front of the initiative. So it they seems can, like they should, right? Like they should go in to or, get near Or him. they can get out of the, yeah. And then, and then uh, Kitty Snipes can stay far away while you'll get Ares some, is next to the other You'll get people. some chances to move. Uh -huh. Okay. It's up to you. So what, I mean, what order do you think we should put them in? Also, I, you need to determine what stance you want to do. And there's four different stances you can choose from. Air, wind, earth, and fire. And they all do different things. They give you bonus movement bonus uh, to your dodge, free healing that you get every turn, and then fire reduces your cooldown. And that's just that's for a, this round, right? Just for this round. So fire is a good one to start with. Yeah, I think fire would be good. That's the aggressive one. However, for these two up here, it might not be a bad idea to choose wind because it gives you a free dodge roll. Oh. Otherwise, you don't, like get, that. Otherwise you don't get to dodge. Dodge roll. <laughs> right, and they're both, I, I imagine they're both going to get hit. It's possible because we don't know what the AI is going to do. The sure. AI is determined by the app. And there's a, it's not like you have a deck of four cards. We have no idea what the app is going to tell us to do. Anything could happen. Any, anything could happen. Interesting. I, I mean, he could, so he could run into here and uh, attack all four of us. definitely one of the benefits of so, running it this way. You truly don't know right, what you, the no. thing right. is going to do. You don't even know your probability. You can't game the game, really. <laughs> not necessarily without a little experience. Anyway. Right, exactly. Maybe after you play Ares a couple of times, you'll start to relearn his patterns. Sure. Like any boss, because sure. Sure. I, I'll be honest, it's tough. Like, it's meant to be a tough fight. As a cooperative game should be, as you've heard me say on this channel before. We're gonna have a heart. We're gonna have our hands full with this guy. So, all right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna play at least one round, probably two rounds, to give you guys a real f uh, feel of the game, uh, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we've sur if we survived two rounds. So, when do you think you want to go? I mean, I'm oh, thinking yeah. like two or three, maybe maybe three. Let's say so that these guys in the front lines would get to go first, and that maybe sounds like a good idea. if they want to. 
Brian, yeah, do you have that's not a bad on idea. That? And okay. then you said you wanted to do fire. Do you want fire. to do fire? I think I want to do fire. Yeah. Fire will reduce your cooldown, so you can use one of your biggest attacks first. Yeah, and I think since I'm already at range, it's probably going to be. So you'll see here we're choosing a stance, and you can choose between any one of these four stances. Oh, cool. So we're going to choose that fire stance right here, and we're going to put her into the third spot, right? Yeah. Sure. Third spot. All right. Okay, there this I is am. pretty sweet. All right, Claire is next to choose. Claire. And it tells you, so you'll see right here now, it's popped up. It shows us yeah. the order as we choose it. So when we know Kitty Snipes is going to be third to go there. I think we, we want these two guys to go first, or do we want probably Claire to like run in, run out? Oh, that's a good question. Well, these, these two probably, like, they're going to get hit every turn that they're there, probably. Yeah. If How we about, can't lure Ares away. I'm going to say, I want Claire to go second. Okay. Okay. Uh, because I think I could use, and what's the stance that lets me move more? The uh, air. Uh, Wait, no. Uh, yeah, air lets you. Sorry, water lets you dodge. Air lets you move farther. I think I'm gonna go air just so that I can like mm -hmm. maybe potentially run in, attack, and and then. You want to go second with her? Yeah. All right. I mean, we'll see. You'll see it pop up. Right I there. may there regret she that. Is. There she is. All right. This is uh, Fernando the Demolisher. Why don't you go first? Yeah, for sure. This is Axeman. Yeah, I mean, Ax he's the Did you like, say Axeman or Axeman? Axeman. <laughs> he's the Axeman. Yeah. Uh, not that he plays guitar, but he has an actual <laughs> giant axe. Now I need the, that gif of you yeah, shredding exactly. the guitar right now. A little guitar riff in the back. So now. he's first for sure. Um, he's first, yeah. And but I, he needs to do that water stance to dodge. Oh, yeah. He's, sure. You, Barrel roll. Yeah, he's got, I mean, he's going to get hit. Okay, okay. You, you want to do fire stance? To I would say that or fire. Don't you think one of those two guys should be extra aggressive? I think extra he should aggressive? dodge. Dodge? Yeah. I'll go with dodge. I'll Emily's go with face right now says, David, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Emily is a better gamer, so I'm going to go with the expression on her face, which said, I think she, sh I think he should dodge. David, you don't know what you're talking about. David says he should just run in and die. It's fine. Yeah, nope. that's the goal, right? That's no. <laughs> okay. All right, so he'll go first. And he's water. He's going to go with the water stance, okay. which means Alex is going to go last, which is not a bad idea because he's a healer. So oh, if perfect. we take some damage, he can be the last to go and do some healing. Nice. Because he is literally the last to go. Ares will not go after him. Okay. They go, he goes before each character. Oh, oh, so he, Ares is the first one to go period. Ares will be yes. the first. That's why I was oh, saying these two are getting attacked no matter okay, what. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I'm thinking probably a dodge, <laughs> the, the dodge for him as well, uh, the water stance for Alex. Okay. So we'll pop him in there. And uh, we're ready. Um, yeah, so it's gonna tell us right here um, basically what's happening. A uh, loud cracking sound fills the air. Debris rains from the ceiling as a pillar of rock and metal shifts and shakes. Oh my God. After a few moments, you realize this is not an earthquake, but the huge right arm of a massive creature that is waking up and breaking free from its millennial slumber. Oh I mean, that doesn't sound safe. <laughs> And it's telling us down here that Fernando is next. Uh, he is the character that we have all chosen to. Should I have said it didn't sound safe, or should I say this sounds like a job for, for the, the bad pen. karmas? <laughs> I mean, if not if not us, then who? Right. Exactly. All right. So as you can see here um, on the app, it's going to give us Fernando's basically cards. You, yeah. you get a selection of cards to play from your hand. Cool. Some of them are attacks. Some of them are melee attacks, ranged attacks. You'll see. Uh, and if you click on one, it gives you all the information. It kind of breaks down what that card does, including you see up at the top where it says melee action, the cooldown in the bottom left-hand corner. I like that it just gives you all this information because I don't have to do this information on screen. I mean, I'm just seeing all of it right now. I have to say this not only for just this game, but it also demonstrates really like what we experienced with our demo of Teveru. Yeah. In terms of like the the ways this could be applied to games in general is very exciting. And you'll see also on the app that some of these are not highlighted currently. That's because you can't take them in the certain range. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so you don't even have to think about it. Very cool. So you don't even have to think about it's it. It's a lot you know. of upkeep that's taken yeah. care of. And yeah, a lot it's of doing things. a lot of it, upkeep It allows you this. to not make the mistakes that a player could make normally. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to have to, to do any of his actual attacks, he's going to have to move first. Okay. Um, oh, he, he can throw a thing. So is, is Ares not going first? 
Um, you know, it might be for your very first action that we start. So his but first then thing was he's coming. He's oh, gonna go. Okay. Yeah, the first thing I think was just him oh, coming. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't it was actually. a warning shot. Well, and I didn't. You don't know what it's gonna be. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes that will happen, and sometimes comes out and leaps at you. Exactly. Right. Sometimes he'll just move, and sometimes he'll run away. So you don't know what his action is oh. gonna be. Oh, okay. So in this case, that was his action was the rumbling and waking up. Okay. Uh, which is good actually. That kind of protects us. Yeah, yeah. But I still think that doing the dodge was good because uh, he's get, he's gonna have to run up and then well, attack. He'll go next. Him. Again. Um, he's gonna go right after this, and he might just maybe he'll wake up more, but maybe so what, not. What should he do? Um, I say run up and hit him. I say run up and hit him, maybe with his biggest attack. So what, what do you got? have to play a certain card to move? No, you can always move up to two two circles away. Oh. So you can always move two, and then you're gonna attack and hit him. So, so here's the question: Should we move such that we're all we've got a front line and then other people behind us, or should we surround? Well, remember that he. So two things: first of all, he can attack everyone in a circle. I've Maybe seen not that surround happen. him. And remember also, if he knocks you backwards into somebody, you do damage to both of you. Oh, so, so either way. So either of those is either bad. Either way. What you really want is, I think, kind of like a like staggered a approach. staggered approach. Okay. Where you have some characters standing back and, and then switching them in and out as you need to switch yeah, them in keep and out. Keep moving. So it seems Always, like right. moving him just one would be the idea. I right think now. so. Yeah, and you'll see here as you watch me move him. So I'm going to take him and move him. And you'll see here on the app that it immediately lights up a bunch of different abilities. Oh. Yep, and it tells you on, yep, it shows you on the app. Um, so. Oh. Yeah, so I've moved into his range. Just shake the die. Yeah, so we're being attacked. Shake it. it seems urgent. <laughs> so we're going to shake it. Throw the die, I assume on the board. Uh, it could be anywhere. I mean, throw it at David's Don't face. throw it across no. the room. So I rolled a two. Uh, a a two. two does not dodge because he needs a four. So oh. you'll just see that on my screen that I took some damage. And it's showing the main damage here on the app as well. It shows you that I took two damage, basically. And that we're being shoved. So we're being shoved away oh, from man. him. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so he's moving uh, So here. he's moving here because he just got shoved. No, no, here. Oh, here. You're right. Directly back from it. And see? Yeah, that's nice. So he got knocked back, so we can't get in range. We can't do a melee attack. But we can still do that explosive throw, which is like basically throwing an explosive device at him. OK. okay. Well, are we going to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, we're going to do it. It's going to tell us to use the action. You'll see the card pop up here. Explosive, Explosive throw. throw. Who wants to risk? Who wants to risk the die roll? Oh, we we'll need to do a, it, Emily. However much you roll, plus two, but we need at least a four, and we can do hurt, which is a status effect that we can inflict on him. Six. <gasps> that Six. seems good. That seems. That good. seems really good. You're welcome. So you were able to do four damage to him. Yeah. Look how much we did to his health bar. Oh wow. Oh, so he's got some Nothing. health. He's, he's, got, got some he's got some health. I think it's kind of cool that he has a health bar and not necessarily like a number that we're looking at. I like yeah, it look. didn't um, cause him to go off balance or anything. Sometimes some of your attacks can make him go off balance, which would make different parts of the LED light up different That's colors. That's cool. Um, so you hear a noise like a mountain tearing apart. The creature just managed to free its arm from the clutches of the Millennial Rock. What now? Probably nothing good. <laughs> Probably. Uh, so we're moving on to Claire. Okay. All right, Claire, what you have to do? So, like I said, we're going to do passing this phone around um, because it's just easier for us that way. But normally, you'd have your own device. David would pick up his own device. So, and... I think, I, like I said, we're not surrounding, surrounding him, but right. I'm thinking of bringing... Can I move through... You can. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to move... Well, you could, you'd move, like, here and then there because you can move two spaces. Okay, I'll move here ultimately. Okay. So, there you're going to go here. There. And then you're going to go here. He might attack you like he attacked the other guy. We'll see what happens. Oh, yep. Too close. Ares. Hits the assassin in the chest with his huge fist the size of a boulder. Deals two damage to her. Yeah, and I don't have to do anything. Nope. Like, it just knows that we did There was no dodge damage. for you or anything. So at least he didn't knock you back into that big column. It says update the map. It looks yep. like I... Oh, I moved into... Yeah, well you, oh, he changes which direction he's facing. Oh. So... I think no, he's, he's facing, still facing, he's the, same facing direction. the right direction. So it's good. So just hit your button. We updated the map like we were supposed to. Okay. So what are you going to do? Well, oh, I have to look at my cards here. Yeah, he's got options. So if you click on one, it tells you a little bit more. I'm still detail. right next to him. I'm going to look at this hit and run because that's kind of what thematically yes. I was wanting yes. to do. So hit and run looks mm -hmm. like this. Deal damage equal to the die result plus two. Melee attack, so I have to be next to him. Then I move one zone. That's good. So I think I'm yeah, gonna do that. that. So good. I'm just gonna use that action. Yeah, that seems good. Hit and run. 
Let's hope that you do the hit I and the run. I assume it's going to tell me to shake it is, the die. It's going to tell you to roll the die up. Shake and the die, throw the die. A three. A three. three, probably. It's a good thing. Well, it's well, going to do five damage. damage. No, it's three plus two, so five. Yeah, it's five the die roll plus two. Hey, we're making a little bit of progress. And then I can select a zone. We can move one zone. Uh, I think I'm going to move over here. Yes, I was going to say. Like, so, because I like surrounding him, but not right one, next yeah. to him. Right, because he can hit everybody that's right next to him. All right, because he's going to go now. The entire cave shakes as tons of metal fall to the ground. Sharp crystal blades suddenly rise from the cave's floor. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Oh. I have a feeling these I are coming in. Have to tap it to tell Look us. Look at the master device. I think these Tapping crystals are yeah. coming in. Yep. Yep, the entire cave shakes. So we're going to be adding, probably, yep, oh. adding in some crystals. Oh, Look at oh, that. Oh, man. Pretty cool. All right, so let's. So two right here behind him. One, one right, right here. There. And these two spaces. And those two. There's only four that gets that are added at this point. Oh, and they fit nicely. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we could knock him back into that. I don't know. My I guess bet he is he could knock big. us into that. My, ge big. my guess is that those are worse for us than <laughs> yeah. they are for him. All right. Well, so we got some. Crystal. Update the map. We did. Yep. Oh, and now it looks like it's. Yeah, it should be Kitty Snipes' turn. Kitty Snipes' turn. Kitty Snipes. There you go, Kitty Snipes. All right. You don't need to move. You could though. You could move farther away from him. I think I am gonna. What's move the distance away? on her attack? It's line of sight. Oh. Oh. Nice. Then yeah, I should just move too. And I'm assuming the app knows line of sight too, yes. which is also mm -hmm. very I'm cool. I'm gonna move one. What does disrupt line of sight? Do you know? Um, these pillars, I think, for this maybe all but that. But not us. Hopefully. No, I don't believe so. Well, it should tell you because your your thing should still be lit up. And if oh, they're the lit cards. up, that means you can oh, hit. Oh, the available yes. cards. Right, because oh. if you don't have line of sight, it's not going to let you play a ranged card. Very cool. Yeah, and again, all of that is determined by the app. So the app knows where you are on the board. It knows where everything is positioned. I do like the idea of learning what do you, what do you about the boss thinking, as we're fighting him. Right. I'm thinking about, so this explosive shot has an attack and then also a shove, which says if it hits the side that's unstable, it shoves the boss. Oh, unfortunately, he's not, we don't right. have an unstable side yet. He's not that's cool. unstable But you yet. can wait for that one. If we get him unstable, then you can hit him with that shot. Yeah, I can also do, I think the precise shot, honestly, is going to be the biggest one for us right now. It seems to deal a lot of damage. And uh, you get less cooldown. Yes, and I get Oh, well, that's right, I forgot but about that. I think that's that something that, that, like, um, really merges the feeling of like a video game Let's with the board game is like learning the patterns of the boss, learning their weaknesses and things like that. All, All right. right, give me the There you go. Roll it. Roll it. You need, uh, roll another six. That was great last time. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. She did. Wow. Four damage to him. Yeah, it looks like he had some armor. Nice. Very All nice. right, very nice. Uh-oh, Larry's is doing something. With a final massive effort, the creature frees its deformed limbs, swollen with crystals. Among rolling boulders and metal splinters, Ares reveals itself in all of its majesty. Oh, oh. great. Majesty. I kind of thought he was already out here. He's like slowly been breaking <laughs> I know out. I this is getting seems. worse and worse. So, let's see. Uh, it should be Alex's turn. Yep. It is. Yes. So I, you, nobody you, took, you, did anybody take damage? Oh, uh, well, I mean. He took damage, yeah, right? Fernando took a shot. I don't. I think I did, right? You did, you did. You know what I mean? That's right. That's but right. I'm not gonna heal, I don't think I wanna heal you at this point. I have a thing called warning shot, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a taunt. It's gonna drive, draw him closer to me. Oh. So I think if I move away from him and taunt him with this, sure. I can get him to-, to Do it, I like it. Maybe move away from you guys. I like the idea of trying to control him a little bit. Yeah, I think trying to get him where you want him to go is part of, is a whole part of the thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll tell you what, so there's some things here, I don't know this. But I see that these spaces are lava. Okay. And I see that these spaces have some kind of light shining on them. Oh, get them in the light. I don't know what it's gonna do. It might not do anything. It might I, do nothing. But I like I, the way you're thinking. I feel like these things are here for a reason. So like, I wonder if we move on to the uh, lava, if it's gonna hurt us. Now, the we'll reason we don't, out. you're not supposed to know this stuff because it, it really like, exemplifies that idea of like, you're just showing up to this battle. Yeah. yeah. Like you're, you didn't scab this out. You don't know what's gonna happen or what's triggered. I don't even know what's gonna happen with these spike I, things. Yeah, I, I'm I have to say, here. the fact that it gives us the ability to sort of explore the unknown without having, you know, usually have to know. read these rules yeah. and know, well, lava does this. I lose light of, I don't have line of sight, I think, because of the pillar. Oh. Um, but I can still taunt him. I have something called Mocking Dance which I can do to anybody. It doesn't matter how close I am. Let's see it, Ryan. <laughs> I'm going to do the mocking dance. That's it? That's it? 
What does it look like? The chicken dance? I think that makes that'll make him laugh, if anything. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Uh, but it's called mocking dance. So it's a taunt. Um, and uh, so I taunt the boss for three turns. I get focused, so my next die roll gets two added to it, oh, which is nice. good. However, if I roll two or less, I get a status effect called Frightened, which uh, Frightened is not great. It means I act randomly. No, that'll be bad. But, but from what I, from what you said there, is for three turns, it sounds like he'll be at, Following the tension me. will be on you yeah. for the a die. Just bit. have to roll above a two. Okay. Here it Easy comes. Easy peasy, let's go. Six. six! Okay, that's three sixes. We're good. I mean, I didn't roll. So I taunt much. him, I get my bonus focus, Taunting. I don't do any damage to him. Uh, and that has a four turn cooldown, so. Cool. Oh yeah, you got your gain, it says. All right, and he's turning to face me because he is not angry happy. at me. He's like, what was that dance? He's not happy. Oh, he's that dance. All right, so we're gonna do another round so we can see the kind of the things that we've just played out um, and how they, how they work. So. Ares is now furious. Ares can move freely across the cave to smash the heroes. He seems particularly responsive to heroes' movements close to him. Okay. So oh. maybe, maybe right now we want to try to do some ranged attacks. So we want to stay still. He's like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. We want to stay still. If you still. just stay still and do nothing for your turn, I pass. <laughs> no, but I don't know if I want to move because he might see me and then like his attention yeah, will go like towards movement. me. But if you move, if you do like, um, if you move backwards away and he comes towards you. That's true. If we're trying to get him into that light just to see what happens oh, in the light. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So, well, do you want to go first then? And yeah, see I if think you can I will because him? I've got some movement. Should I stick with air? Uh, the one that gives you the, the, the extra, extra move? movement. Because I could move. Gonna, you can already move two spaces I guess away. I could move here, right? Yeah, but you might lose line of sight on him there. Uh, also, you think I should just move here? That's up to you. I don't know what happens when you step in the lava. I'm gonna do it. I like the idea. You're gonna step I wanna... in the lava? Well, if I can get there. All right. I do. Yeah, you can if you do the extra move. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, and I can attack and then move, right? No, you move and then attack. Oh. No. <laughs> but I have that run that that running yeah, but gun. Didn't it have Didn't it have cooldown? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, probably. let's see. Whatever. We'll give you the extra movement. We'll find out. We'll this let you go first. This Although this is that's you. Sorry. So you're gonna go first. I think uh, I should just go last, honestly. Then I think Alex should go second. Okay. Yeah, so we know where he is, yeah, basically. Yeah, because I, I mean, I'm oh, just yeah. up Then you can the just do anyway. what you need to do to get a shot out. Yeah, exactly. I think that's, a fact, good, I think that's good. What what stance do you want for Kitty Snipes, though? Um, well, you might want movement. Yeah, Because if he ends movement. up being really far away from you. Yeah, let's do movement. Let's do movement time. for Kitty Snipes. Okay, and then we already said Claire was going to be first. Okay. And she wants that bonus movement, too. So yeah, we'll I click so. that. Uh, and then uh, Fernando, I think, is going to go third. Yeah. He might need that extra movement too. If we're luring him far away across the map. If I'm going first and luring him somewhere, right. people I might want I think everyone's going to need that extra movement. Depends on how far he moves. Except for yeah. Alex. Alex, I think I want to do the reduced cooldown for him. Oh, really? that, yeah, because I'm already over there. Or right, exactly. Okay. If I have to heal Claire or something, I want to get that heal back quicker. <clears> sure. Uh, okay, so I think Ares is going to go first. Ares, uh, advances. Ares advances threateningly towards the defender. That's oh, so because he's of what you did. Because the taunt. Yeah. So it's going to tell us... Um, I think you have to hit there. Oh, yeah. You're right. It's going to tell us where he goes. Oh! oh. Whoa. He moved. <laughs> okay, oh, but, but look at exposed. that. It exposed his back. Okay, okay, so this is something that you might that you should be seeing on the camera right now. Yeah. That's actually good for you. Yeah. Pop I can him, just... Hit him in the back. Yeah, you're first to go. I mean, it's good for all of us. Honestly, yeah. except and for I, me, I'm wondering. Yeah, but I'm wondering if your power specifically also makes that for a chance to happen. He's going towards you because you drew yeah. him, and it's exposing his back because he's not thinking about it. Exactly, he's angry at me, so he's he's got his back. Hit him with what you've. Hit so him with I like should your... I should hit him as hard as I can, right? You, sh you should, and it's a good thing we did that extra move with Kitty too. Yeah, assuming that he still faces Alex because Alex is going second. I'm gonna try to lure him into that light just to see what happens. Ooh. Okay, got? so I have this thing here called Painful Stab. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> it's it's going to be an attack. It sounds good. It's a die plus three, and then there's something I don't know what it is, but it's a sort of target four well, plus. Well, if you click it, it tells you more. Oh, thank you. That's right. Oh, yeah, if you hit On him in your... On a die of X result of four or more, the side opposite hit becomes unstable. Yeah. So then you could... Yeah, that's... If you roll oh, I dig that. I'm doing it. That's for sure. Do you have to move up to him first? Or you I do yeah, have you to do. move up to him. So this is really cool. I'm just going to point this out. So I'm checking this action out, and there's a use action button. 
but because the game knows that I'm not in position to use this, I can't use right, it. So right, out, right? I'm gonna go back here, and then I'm, so I can move two. Yep. So you gotta move one, one. you gotta move oh, one at a right. time. One. Just tell the app which path you yep. took, just in case. Two. Nice. And now, painful stab is usable. All right, do it. Stab. So I'm gonna, stab I'm, him. I'm even gonna rotate my guy just for thematic Painful purposes. stab him in the back. Painful stab, use. Okay. Here goes. Shake, Shake the, the die. die. Stab the guy. And roll. Shake the die, stab the guy. Yes! Whoa! That's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. Oh, look Dang. at the health. Look at his health go down. Wow, oh, that wow, big. that was a big hit, because you got him. You did nine damage with that. Oh, wow. Nine. Yeah, oh, and you, uh, he's turning to face you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You. I didn't expect him to turn to face me. He turned to face you, but both sides of him are now lit up because of that. So That's he's good. unstable on my side and your yeah, side? Yeah, he's unstable yeah. on both sides. Nice. That's good. And didn't you have an attack well, that was good on unstable, unstable side? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. It's, if we can get him, I, I almost, but I still want to chase him into the light or lure him into the light. All right, so we happens. updated the map. We did update the map. He rotated. He's angry now. now. It's going to be someone else's I turn. I think it's going to be Alex, if I remember correctly. Yes. Oh, but he gets a turn in between, Barry's remember? Barry's rocky hand brutally grabs the assassin. Well, that ain't oh. cool. Like a puppet. The assassin is violently thrown toward the other heroes. Oh, what? No. All right, let's see what happens. So he's okay, going to so throw Claire. Gonna... Whoa! Wow. Oh. She's All the way over here, right? Oh, and wait. Something wait, happened to you honest? guys. It applies some sort of ghost thing. Uh, frightened. It oh, frightened you guys. No. Oh, so and my body came hurling me. towards you. We like, ah. And you're like, whoa. So you did damage because he threw you into the wall, and now he's turning to face me. All right. Well, Alex. And you're just standing there like. So he's facing this dot right Hi, here, Claire. right? No, he turned to face me, it said. It said he turns to face. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Yep. So I feel like I should move. So I'm going to, can you move? Let's just move one space there. Oh, he's up next. OK. Yeah. So you're not going to attack? I am. I'm going to oh. move first, okay. and then I'm going to do that warning shot, which is hopefully going to move him closer to me, which will step him into the light. I don't know that anything's going to happen. This could be the biggest <laughs> disappointment. It, it, it could be. He, he, but we, I'm like, there's maybe, light shining. And what maybe, if he's powered by light? <laughs> 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 the health bar just he doubles. He power <laughs> from the light. <laughs> so, he, he kills everyone. <laughs> I, we'll see. You know what? It's a risk I'm going to take for this. Uh, so I'm going to do warning shot. It's an attack. My die roll plus one, and then it taunts on a three or higher. Okay. So I want, and, but remember, I get, I'm focused. So my die should get plus two to it. So hitting so, that taunt should be pretty easy for me. Warning shot. Oh. Wow. Famous last words. Famous last words. Not a six, wow. everybody. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't say throw again still back. But I still got the plus three. Remember, I still got the plus oh. two, so I still get the taunt effect. Okay. You did two damage. So oh, let's no, see. he's facing this way right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. I couldn't. I That's was right. looking at it upside down. Uh, in a cacophony of metal grinding and rock shattering, Ares lurches forward into a wild charge. Ooh. Oh, is he going to charge me? He better. I, no, oh, wait, 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 he didn't. What? What? So he he's didn't charge me. So he's facing Claire. One, two. Yep. And facing Claire. Oh, he didn't come into the... But you got light right here, one space that away. That was an unusual reaction to you hitting Wait, him. but his, he's really off balance on the back now. Oh. But wow. yeah, but we can't. Oh, so are these, fa uh, do you think these are basically just obstacles that we can't move on to? Yes. Right, I think that's gonna be the, the tough thing. Interesting. Is like, but Kitty Snipes can get around behind him. Can she? But it's not Kitty's turn. No. Well, you might as well just. Oh, he's, he's, uh, so. Um, oh, action unlocked. Yeah, Ooh. so we've got, so he's frightened right now. So he's acting. Um, Erratically. Erratically, there's certain moves that we can't use, however, You'll see here that we just unlocked a bonus move called Fury Unleashed. Bonus move. So sometimes these characters, as you do damage or, or do certain effects, you like level up almost oh, cool. over the course of the game. And it will start to unlock these cards over oh. the course of play. So he's got this new one, Fury Unleashed, um, which deals damage equal to the die result. If you took damage this round, it doubles the damage you do back to him. And he did take damage. He did. Oh, so nice. let's do it. But I, uh, I no, don't no think buts. I can get around to the red zone with him. Right? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm assuming you can't stand on that stuff. No, it's, you can't. And you can't share a space with Claire, right? You cannot do that either. So okay. we either, oh. we either leave him here, or move him. But if if I attack him and he turns to face me, then uh, Kitty can get it's around. It's a melee him. attack. It is a melee attack. Okay. I it just. I do it's think glowing. you want to, we have you to probably do right have here. to attack him right here, and hopefully he'll rotate such that 
maybe the spot behind him opens up over here. Yeah, and I can move there. And then, then yeah, well, yeah. It's you can very move there. Close, it's but... a point blank arrow shot from her <laughs> at that point, but. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna somebody I mean, roll a, for him. A gyrating circle around. Emily, you should roll for him. You, yeah, you've rolled it. so many sixes. I've rolled. Okay. Well, I guess Just I've been. Give a it a little. Okay. Okay. Hey, middle of the road. Middle of the fine. road. Uh, but you got higher than a two, so that's good. So does three damage to nice. him. Did he take damage this round to double it, or maybe did he not take damage? Was it last round he took damage? Oh, no, I don't think he took damage. He just got frightened. Oh, he just got frightened. I thought but he had taken Claire damage. Claire took damage. From that hit. When he when she got thrown. Uh oh, the creature charges the sharpshooter at breathtaking speed, knocking you. the no. sharpshooter down with its front hooves. I mean, the sharpshooter sounds like it would be you. Yeah, it is. Not me. So oh. he's moved right here, facing oh, her, facing you. Ares retreats, blinded by a beam of light piercing oh, through the yes! rock. Could this be a tactical opportunity? That is awesome. Yes, it could be. It could oh. be. So he has a status effect now okay. applied to him. All right. Sharpshooter's turn. Okay, so that's pretty, So can that's you get behind cool. him to do your to hit him in that red spot? That's the question. You do have an extra move. So I think you could get as far away as here. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, I do have an extra move. She's got right. the air going on. Did you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. You know what? That was One. wise. I'm glad he ran into the light. Look, the light did something. Yeah, that is cool. I well, do feel bad that I'm so far away from everybody. The lava must certainly do something. Oh, it's though. got to. It's got to do something. So... Do you have that explosive one still that you were talking about? I don't think oh, so, no. Because some of them because are because frightened. frightened. You can't use yeah. some of your moves. It yeah. randomly oh, takes some of your moves away. Because you're scared. Because you're scared. You're a little mm. off balance. What do you got? So I have one that says all heroes around the boss get armored. And armored means the target takes five less damage. Does I it like do damage that. to him? It does. As one of the heroes oh. next to him, huh. I feel that's a pretty good Let's yeah. I'm gonna do Is that. It, one. Does it also attack? Is it that, does. Oh, yeah. okay. It does the What's it called? It's called Shielding Arrow. Oh, I like that. Sounds it. right. The best kind of arrow. Did you have that before? I did. But you guys weren't all. <laughs> it's you like you've had this that whole time? <laughs> no, no. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. I didn't know if it was an unlocked thing. No. Four. Okay. Nice. All right, that's good. So four plus one is five. That's true. Uh, obviously. So it should do five damage. Uh, but ten. Oh, wait. Or two. Oh, oh yeah. he because does he have armor on that? Yeah. He must have oh, yeah, he got, did. We got shielded. Still, we've done a little bit of, we've done some damage to him. Action on the And you leveled up an action as well. What's your new Ooh, action? What healing is your, arrow. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that seems cool, good. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds really nice. good. All right, that's the end of the round. So. By this point, you've got a pretty good taste, I think, of how this game plays, the kind of things that you're able to do in this game, and the way that you can manipulate the Tebru system with the app to kind of tailor, to have a digital experience, I, oh, would, for sure. I would say. I would say, and we'll, we'll come back and yeah, tell we'll you about the Yeah, we'll talk more experience. about how we feel about that experience when we're finished, uh, win or lose. We'll be back soon to tell you how that experience went. See you soon. Welcome back. We just finished our grueling battle with Ares. <laughs> it did not go well. Let's talk about this. You can see right here on the screen our score. We got a D. Uh, yeah. the, the app does not think that Destroyed. we did good. You know what? I actually thought after those first two rounds, like we were doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah that's what we thought. Uh, and then it just all, like, what happens is you start getting hit with this like attrition where it's like, okay, I can take six damage here, six damage there. Next thing you know, we're all like at five or six damage. Yeah, yeah we gotta use the, we didn't use the healer. I mean, you did use the healer a few times, but not, I don't think we used the yeah. healer to its maximum yeah. potential. I was all, well, to be fair, who was the first character that died? It was. No. Me. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. But I wasn't the healer. It's because yeah. You but are we going to talk me. about what happened? Oh yeah, I got knocked over into lop. So we did learn a few things. Uh, I don't know if the, on camera did we see the light thing on camera? Uh, yeah, a little bit yes, of it. Yeah, we we did. did that a couple more times. So we saw that the light had some effect. We wondered whether the lava had effect. I dangerously wandered over towards the lava. I did touch a lava space, and it did. I can confirm do damage to me. But. One other thing uh, that happened just as we're talking about the board here, we didn't notice there's a little glimmer spot here on the board. Yeah, I never even saw that. And uh, who, who Emily moved over I there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Emily with, uh, what was your name again? Kitty Snipes. Kitty Snipes. Kitty Snipes moved over here 
And the app said that we saw in the sunlight something glimmering and it was a rocket launcher. Yeah. Uh, so she was able to pick it up. You weren't able to use it on the same term. No, not on the but same term. She but picked up the rocket launcher. Yeah, she looted it. And but then, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, when we got there, we were like, what? Something's coming up. Yeah, and that, I mean, you used it effectively. It did some, of course, you rolled a one on it, right? Yeah. So yeah. it could have done a lot of damage. That being said, I mean, we did get Ares down to about 20, a quarter, about 22% 20, left. 22% left. Is what the app left. Said. And you know we were doing really well. I think there's just some like some moments where we started to make little mistakes where we would just we got a little too aggressive or we got a little too confident in ourselves. Well, and there was also not much we could do to. I mean, we may not have learned everything we could do because he did react to that sunlight. I'm still convinced that there. Was I think we could have done some there. more with the shoving and where we were shoving him into. Like we didn't use yeah. these big uh, no. crystals very much. We tried to. I tried to shove him a couple times into these things, but it was like every time I would move. He would turn to face me. The positioning is so important. Positioning, yeah. I think that's where we kind of lacked it, where we were like, oh, I'll just move here. And then he'd be like, I see you. And then I'm going here. Yeah, it did give us the hint early on that if you were near him, he would pay attention. We yeah, he'd react to apparently your ignored that yeah. because we kept moving. As soon as you moved near near him, he did look at you like that. One thing I think, I, I think it was off camera, Ryan hit him over here one time into the wall. Yeah, that was And good. then he bounced off of the, so he didn't base damage. Then the wall did damage. Then he bounced over into this thing. Uh -huh. and it was like a basically I wish that had been on an Aries <laughs> pinball happening. That would have been good if we had done it over here with maybe these. Yeah. Like I don't know if those would have done. Yeah, and he too. smashes these and breaks these too. So you have a limited amount of time that you can come and knock him into these. Yeah. And for most of this, at least for my slam move, it had to hit him in his exposed area. So in that area same, that was lit up. Mm -hmm. And try, positioning it, trying to lure him so that he's. Got his exposed side facing you and his front side facing a rock wall. That right. was tough because he kept wanting to just turn all the time. And you think you've got your perfect turn set up because you, you set up the timeline. And then the first thing he does is like move way over here. And you're like, Or he yeah. flings well, you or way he over flings, here. Right, yeah. which he kept happened a throwing times. us all over the place. And then there was even things where I think he moved around and stomped around. And like thing, you know, things would fall from the ceilings and just hurt us. See now, yeah. now I'm like, look, there's like little like gold things sticking. I like, yeah, there are. Now I'm looking at everything. Like, what did we miss? <laughs> and I think they could do some with, with other scenarios potentially too, where you're looking, maybe looking through the rubble and things like that. Yeah. You want to go into these certain spaces right. and look around. I know there will, will be more zodiacs. I don't know if they play on the same map. I don't know if they'll have double-sided maps. Sure. I don't know what that'll be interesting. What that's going to look like if it's. I, I doubt it's going to be always the same zone because this zone felt very much like Aries. Yeah. Like yeah. he summons down these crystals. He yeah. has, you know, he's in this cave. It talks about him waking up in a cave. So I would imagine that the zones are going to be different, which means different strategies and maybe some different interactable objects in the different maps as well. Yeah, this definitely changed it up. Even at one point, his exposed size, which was what we wanted to go after, uh, started spurting lava, mm -hmm. which uh -huh. we also determined this probably wouldn't have hurt him because yeah, he had lava, lava in him. So, but so then you, we, questioned, do we still hit the exposed side? We did, and we died because we of it. We kept but doing, but then every time we did, lava would pour on us. And yeah, we slow, after I went, then I think- Fernando the, went next. Fernando went next yeah. pretty quickly after yeah. me. Because he did rush up. We were like, let's just do it. Cause he was- He was just the charge him every time. Right, well, he was getting low in health and we were like, if we can get a couple solid hits in. Yeah. But what we didn't take into account for is that Ares still activates four times no matter who's left. Yes. So and after after Claire died, Fernando got attacked twice in a row mm -hmm. after his turn and then when Claire would have gone and that was bad for him. So he was already really low. I tried to heal him, but then Ares' first action the next turn was to kill Fernando. Yeah. So I didn't even get a chance to get there. I think the long story short there is once someone is eliminated, you better hope that you've you're getting close. Right. It's all or Aries. nothing. And you got to play because, super defensively too. Because it gets really rough towards the end when it was just that, your your last guy Alex, in Aries. Alex standing alone? At, Aries was taking a lot of actions and just running over to Alex, tossing him over here. Charging also, him. Yeah, it was a lot of damage um, going on. So yeah, we did 12 rounds. So you saw two of the 12 rounds. I'll tell you that at least four of those rounds were just like one or two of us. <laughs> so we were just basically trying to survive at the, the end. The survivors. I think we had like six really solid rounds and then it just all started to go downhill. Yeah, for sure. It's really interesting. I, I mean, I think, I don't know if we played it again immediately if I feel like we'd have another, like a perfect, oh, we could be Oh, no, but I think every time you play, 
it kind of has that souls mechanic, right? Where you, you come to a boss multiple times and like eventually you start to learn their weaknesses. You well, I can tell Like you we know that this rocket launcher. That scoring. rocket launcher would be turn number one. And, and getting him into the light does something. We, it right. kept doing stuff. I don't know if maybe you get him into the light, the more often you get him into the light, well, or if you can keep him there for a whole turn. And what I thought was cool too, is we unlocked better cards yeah. throughout yeah. it. So I think that would be something too, to keep thinking about is like, how do I keep getting my character better and better? So once we get later in the fight, even if we do lose one person, we're still okay. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a marathon here, not a sprint. I think you should be just jumping in to do damage when it's convenient and then running, and then just try to spread out and lure him around. Spreading because if, out. if you can delay the game enough so that you get all of your upgraded cards, then you can come in and really do damage to him. Yeah, yeah I do think it's maybe a game of survival first. Right, survive until you and get and, the rocket and, launcher, weaken him, build up, maybe and maybe search the map for some other stuff. Take advantage of good moments, yeah. Right, Take advantage. and and we you don't want to clump up around him. Like when he got next well, we to did, three of us. Well, we did. That's the problem. We were like, he threw one person into a clump with three other people. Then he charged in there and hit everybody. Yeah, damage. Which, yeah, then he did this thing where like rocks were falling from the ceiling and hit ev like almost everyone in an area. Yeah, it was pretty rough. It was rough. It was an experience. I, I, like I said, I don't know if we could just turn right around and beat okay. him. I think it would just be kind of a slow but before, well, attempt after attempt. Before we go, though, let's talk really quick because we said we were going to come back and talk about the tech itself. Oh, yeah. I thought the tech worked really well. It was very cool the way that it, it, it knew exactly what was happening. It knew all the positioning of everything. It knew if you were in line of sight. It knew if you were standing near a rocket launcher. Yeah. All of that stuff was very cool. All those things, I would say, for games like this, for games where you, uh, miniatures games where you're moving around, there's tons of rules like line of sight and elevation and all sorts of different things like that. This technology right. can take all that so you don't really have to know any of it. There's no arguing. Makes it foolproof. Oh, I, yeah. Can, can going... I hit this guy? I swear I could, no. Somebody's trying to bring out the ruler, like, yeah. no, the app says you can't hit him, you can't hit him. Like, yeah. you're not, it knows you're not if in line of sight. You, you move too far, it's going to not let you move that far. Mm -hmm. It's just going to you stop you. You can't cheat on accident. Yeah, in fact, yeah, it makes it or so you can't. Things, or right? forget things, Like, I'm things. focused, I should have gotten plus two. Can we go back and do that two rounds <laughs> Right, uh, I should have, yeah, I should have. I forgot he was supposed to be destabilized. I forgot to actually destabilize yeah. him, yeah. Yeah, the tracking in and of itself is really, really the big thing here, plus, like you saw with that intro, a lot of the things they do with the cards and the you know rolling of the dice, it basically is just telling you what to do. I really think you could get into this game without reading much. Yeah, I mean, you kind of want to have somebody that at least understands, like that can teach like how the stances work and they sure. get to you know how many movements you get per turn and things like that. But yeah, you can jump right into it. Now there will be a tutorial mission oh, that cool. we That's we don't nice. have access to. We just played like the first scenario with yeah. Aries. They said there will be a, like a tutorial, so you literally oh. can jump right in. Yeah, that's and the awesome. tutorial will probably teach you teaches you the, the air right, and the exactly. earth and all that. That's great for people who like do better with playing through the teach, right, yeah. and then being yeah. able to actually do it. And I feel like that makes it way more accessible. For sure. Yeah. So that was the bad karmas and the curse of the zodiac. We got a D. So tell us if you did better. <laughs> I know some other people, some other reviewers have it. I wonder if they did better than a D. <laughs> that is the first D since whatever last grade I got in school. I bet it was we, probably if, a D too. If we play again, I bet we could at least get a C plus. I mean, oh, aim, shoot for the stars, aim huh? high, <laughs> aim high, C plus, mom. C's get degrees, huh? <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys all for, for hanging out with us today as we played through the bad karmas. I wish we could have won, but I mean, the chances of winning the first time you play a co-op are so slim. Also a good sign of a co-op. You don't want to play a co-op yeah. and first time win it, so. You don't, want to be, you don't want it to be easy. No. That did not feel easy. No, it did not. So, it, but it felt rewarding when we did well. So anyway, uh, that's bad karmas. Thank you so much. For watching, please like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff that you love to do. And until we see you again, you make sure everyone has fun at the table. There it is. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Congratulations, you got to the end of one of our videos. Now, if you want more practice, just click on the video over here. It's another video. You might not have seen it yet, so click on it. If you don't want to do that, at least click on the subscription button below. That always helps us. And if you want notifications, please ring that bell.